dirty laundry, Joe? Sammy, honey, you can have this shirt right off my back. Tell your buddies where you got it, Trask. I make it myself. Out of lotus blossoms. It smells like cut rate gas. You underestimate me, punk. This is real high octane. Jackie. That's all right. I can handle it. Give the kid the laundry. Relax. Be my guest. Anybody else? Look, do you have to keep diddling on that kazoo? You got something better to do? After six weeks in this mud hole, are you kidding? Then don't knock it. days. I thought you never were coming. We must work to live, Kodo and I. I'll see to that. I told you I'd take care of you. Yes. I suppose you could for a while, and then you would be gone. Sammy, listen. You know how it is with us. Yes, I know how it is with us. Let us not change it. But we could have more. We could be seeing each other all the time, and you wouldn't have to be doing this. No, buddy. We cannot make too much of something that is just for now. What is your figure you've written in the past three weeks? I don't know. Why? What do you write about? We ain't been out of this tent in a month. I haven't really even thought of it. Maybe it's my boy. He's eight years old. That's an age when I should be around, and I'm not. I always seem to have plenty to say to him. Paul Jenkins, model father, model co-pilot, keeper of the American ideal. Get off my back, Merrill. What's the matter, chum? You nervous in the service? We all have to live. And I have my own peculiar way of doing it. Take it easy. You might live long enough to die in combat. <whistles> Sounds like my girl. Your girl? How could you even try with a girl like that? It's easy. Besides, I'm just protecting her. Protecting her? From what? From you. And a lot of other wolves just like you. Big-hearted, Merrill. You know, someday your heart's gonna swell up to the size of a pea and burst. Careful, chum. Your ideals are showing. Just what's your code, hotshot? Money, love, and Jack Merrill. But not necessarily in that order. you run down to operations, see if they got anything posted for us. They won't have anything going for anybody, Captain. Nothing. 
hot in this weather. Well, why don't you run down anyway, just to make sure? came to me. What is it you want? Let's get off this main boulevard. What's doing, Prez? It isn't much, but it's Riggsy's best. Don't swallow it. I don't dig you. Play. How about that one of yours, Al? Yeah, okay. Come on. What's the matter? Am I bringing you down? Smile. Doesn't move you. We'll try this one, Prez. I'll stuff that Take it easy. Take it easy. What if he was a drummer? All right, play. You got no culture, Maddox. Kid makes good music. Yeah, and that's all he makes. Without that horn, he's stuck for an answer when you say hello. Come on, come on, this card, All will right, you? right, wait a minute. Now I know how you got in the Air Force. You're a born pigeon. Well, somebody must look after jerks like you. you Want to get your TS card punched? Take it to the chaplain. Oh, funny boy. Hey, man. What's the matter, kid? Did she send you back to get a man? Or maybe a certain captain can do more for her than a little old sergeant. A rank has its privileges. Hey, you break up my chin game! Problems here, sir. There was in Korea, man. That's enough. That's enough. Come on, come on. Let's take a look at that burn. Come on. Well, hurts, I suppose, but it's not too bad. Better sit down and take a rest, kid. I can't. Merrill just sent me on an errand to operations. Ops? Nothing's happened there in a month. 
He just wanted to get me out of the way. We won't be posted for anything, and he knows it. I wouldn't worry about the girl, kid. None of them are very permanent. Better get something on that burn. Hey, buddy, uh, as long as you're going out, uh, stop by the mail shack and see if they got anything for us, huh? You expecting a letter from your wife, Trask? Or from the neighbors again? Like maybe with all the latest news. Man, you're a real sad drag. Does that make you happy, Merrill? What's the matter, Sam? Are you in love with someone? Don't worry, Captain. It is not with you. You act like I set fire to my mother. I'm only trying to help you. Are you? Sure, I'm only thinking of you. Who is he, Sammy? Buddy Lewis? Does it matter? I want to know. He's a sweet boy, and I am... I like him very much. Do not punish him for that. The kid's got taste. But that's all he is, just a kid. What can he do for you? What does he know about? No. Give it back, Meryl. It was my father's. I'll give it back to you later. I just want to keep it for a while. For luck. I thought you'd be interested to know, Captain. Operation says it's posted for a mission. Lewis. Buddy. What exactly did they say at operations? Nothing. They wouldn't answer questions. I just saw us posted on the board. Anyone else posted? I didn't see any other numbers, sir. I don't think so. You better be sure, Sergeant. Anything's possible. Next, they'll be sending us something balloons. Oh, it's a great honor, man. I'm deeply moved. <laughs> sure is funny. All of us have been sitting around here doing nothing but shooting craps and collecting our pay. Now, you fellas going out and earning the money for the whole squadron. <laughs> very, very funny. That's all, Sergeant. A solo mission. That's a fine piece of dessert. Yeah, must be something big, real fat. Be a hero on your own time, Merrill. I got plans for the next few years. Yeah, knit yourself another sweater. Alone? Are you crazy? They can't do anything like that. Yeah, they can't do that to us. You know, somehow I figure they can. But it's a lousy deal, it's lousy. So true, Father. You know, if we're gonna fly in weather like this, they ought to give us water wings. I'm just telling you what the man said. Yeah, sure, kid, sure. Up. Captain Merrill? Yeah? Lieutenant Chapman, sir. You and your crew depart immediately to the briefing room. Right, go tell the others. Yes, sir. Five years from now, I'll be telling the neighbors how we won the war single-handed. Come all the way up forward, gentlemen. Up to the front. Sit down, please. Gentlemen, you have been selected to fly a very difficult and dangerous mission, but one which, if successful, can materially aid our cause. As you know, practically all of Korea and the surrounding area has been weathered in for close to a month. Under the cover of this weather, the enemy has been moving tremendous amounts of men and material. 
This is the Yellow River. You all know it. The boundary between North Korea and Manchuria. The bridges across the Yellow are the enemy's most important lines of communication. And they are his best protected. We have received permission to bomb the Yellow River bridges. And that is your mission. You will bomb the main bridge across the Yellow at this point. You will carry a full bomb load. The trip will take 10 hours, slightly more than usual. Gentlemen, there is one important qualification. You will make your bomb run in line with the river and bomb at a 90 degree angle. But you will not and must not, under any circumstances, cross the boundary into Manchuria. Sir, is it true we're making this mission alone? Exactly correct, Captain, for good reason. This is a precision job. A mass formation would pattern bomb. Some of the pattern might land in Manchuria. Our State Department would frown on this. Sir, what about fighter cover? The weather will be your cover. The enemy fighters are grounded as well as our own. This is a radar job. We'll be bombing through clouds. And our radar man's in the hospital. Yes, I know. Captain Morgan from the States has been assigned to your crew. He's been specially trained for a mission such as this. Gentlemen, if there are no further questions, Major Naylor of Intelligence will brief you further. Major? Gentlemen, I don't have much to add. Your target is the bridge at Suiho. Now, flak will be heavy, but probably inaccurate. Gun emplacements are on both sides of the river along this entire stretch. As you know, friendly islands are here, here, and here. Now, the three MiG squadrons within a 20-mile radius, but they'll be grounded by weather. This business about the MiGs being grounded by weather, somebody give them the word? We hope so, Lieutenant. According to our best information, the bad weather will continue for several days. Now, you'll be flying at 20,000 feet. Clouds will cover the entire mission. But one word of caution, there are areas of severe turbulence en route. Avoid cumulus formation. These storms are not wide in area, but they are extremely severe. If we run out of clouds, then what? Gentlemen, this is important. Now listen, if you should lose your cloud cover at any point over enemy ground, you are to turn back. We do not make suicide missions in this Air Force. It's now 2100. Breakfast at 0300. Be back here at 0400 for final briefing. Take off at 0530. Now get some rest. Just cover for me. It's strange, Murph. Nothing strange anymore. Why do they pick us out of the whole squadron? Why us? You heard the man. We're great, that's why. And we got a great captain, smiling Jack Merrill. We're not that good, and you know it. Well, we've been lucky. And where I come from, that makes you good. We could be great with you running the show. The crew likes you. They like me, but they follow Merrill. I fight a better war as a second man. Who says so? What's stopping us? No drive, I guess. At least that's what my wife always says. But it's always been that way. Just a blocking back. Well, how'd you get into this thing? You didn't have to. For all the corny reasons. Got an eight-year-old boy that's growing up in this sick world. 
And if it takes this kind of surgery to cure it, then I want to help her. Well, that's one way, I guess. Me, I just lie there at night and wonder what I'm doing back in the war again. While they keep those draft age punks safe in school. Ha <laughs> ha, come on. What now? Dreaming dreams of glory? Laugh it up, but we're gonna pull this off. Huh. Our peerless leader, here's opportunity knocking. Yeah, opportunity for parachute practice. Big joke. You guys are coming out of this with nothing but, but experience. You'll go back and pick up where you left off, and all this will be a lot of lost time. But not for me. I got this thing figured a different way. Really gonna make a big thing of it, huh? Seems to me there's supposed to be a lot more to it than that. I'll be a boy scout along with the rest of you guys. But I'm gonna make my merit badges work for me. This ladder of success, what's it made of? Dead crews? <laughs> Skipper. Fine looking body of men. Something to strike terror into the hearts of the enemies. Mail call, Trask. What's in the letter, Al? Is it from your wife or one of the neighbors? <laughs> I'm just being sympathetic, Al. You know that. That ain't gonna change things back home, Trask. Sammy, open up. guy is just another jerk to a girl like you. No, buddy. It is not true. Maybe a guy like Merrill is better for you. A big hero who can't keep his hands off any girl that comes near him. You must not say these things. Merrill, he means nothing to me. Yeah, you two look real unfriendly after today. You will not understand. Merrill is nothing to me. Nothing. It is you I care for. Only you. I didn't ask you for that. All I want is the same courtesy you give your other friends. Get out of here, buddy. Get out. Sammy, listen. Sammy, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it. Sammy, I said I was sorry. Are you, buddy? Look, we've caught a long mission. When we get back, I'll speak to the Colonel. Speak to the Colonel? About us. About getting married. Married? 
Daddy. Be sure. I want it with all my heart. But be sure. I am sure. And it'll be good. I know it will. Oh, buddy. Buddy. I love you so much that I... I hurt inside. I've wanted you so... But I didn't think it could ever be. It will not be easy for you. I love you. Captain Morgan? Yeah. Glad to have you with us. Welcome to our school. I wasn't sure I had a right ten. If you're looking for a purple heart, this is the place. Don't mind these jokers. I'm Paul Jenkins, co-pilot. This is Ed Hausman, flight engineer. Murph, navigator bombardier. Hi. How's everything in the States? Everybody getting rich? Oh, same as always, I guess. People never seem to pay much attention to anybody else's troubles. Um, when do we take off? Pretty quick now. Huh? You, uh, you ever flown a mission before? I'm just practice missions back in Utah. See, I, I wasn't even supposed to come overseas. They, they told me I was going to be held back as an instructor. Oh, you love combat, Captain. Well, I don't know. I'm one of those people that's never heard a gun fired in anger. I, I guess I get used to it. Glad to hear somebody can. <laughs> it's time. Let's go. Nervous? Oh, little, I guess. Don't let it get you. Everybody is the first time, and every time after that. Huh. Ready, sir. Where's Lois? Uh, medical tent, sir. He wasn't feeling so good. He wanted to check. Anyone for tennis? Sir, he went to the medical tent for a last minute checkup. He'll be here in time for takeoff. Let go. Let go of me. I'm not going anyplace. That's right, because I'm going to keep a hold of you. Does this man belong to you, sir? Get your flight gear. Wait a minute. Where have you been, son? In the village, sir. Was she that important? Yes, sir, she was. Carry on, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Get your flight gear and get aboard. I'll be on the flight line to see you off, Captain. Thank you, sir. this first aid kit next time around, Ed. Yes, sir. 
5.30 a.m. I'm going to talk to the president's airline about the schedule. Well, pleasant journey. Good luck. You left your bottle behind. You tend to your job, I'll tend to mine. Gee, Dad, it's a convertible. Airplanes are like people. They all have their gadgets in the same place. Pilot to crew, report in. Navigator all set, Skipper. Flight engineer, ready, sir. Radio, okay, sir. CFC, ready, sir. Left scanner, ready, sir. Right scanner, ready, sir. Tail gunner, where are you? All set, Skipper. You all right? Yes, sir. But it's sure gonna be lonely without them other planes. All set? Not yet. No report from radar. <laughs> radar operator, okay, sir. Ed, you ready to start engines? Roger, Skipper.
078, rolling. 078 from tower. to crew. Station check in one minute. Ready, sir. Left scanner ready, sir. Right scanner ready, sir. Ra radar operator okay, sir. Tail gunner fair and cold, skipper. Pilot to navigator. Murph. Yes, Skipper. What's our schedule? Murph, you're reading me? Yes, five by five. Just figuring. I figure we should hit IP by 1100. Target four minutes later. They give us a tailwind for the return trip. We should get us home by 1630. We'll lose it. Skipper.
Sheriff, we're getting close. Give me a reading. Right. Skipper? Yeah, I'm still here. Steady as she goes. she get us to the IP in 27 minutes. Target four minutes later. According to my figure, we're running a little behind. Better get a check from radar. We're saving gas. Figure us for late all the way. Now, you all right? so far, the initial point in 20 minutes. The way the weather's holding, we probably won't run into any fighter opposition. Well, let's be ready just in case. Combat stations. Turn back? It's up to Merrill. 
But, but he can't go on. You heard what the colonel said. Up here, Merrill's the boss. I'm not going to abort a mission after flying a thousand miles. What kind of a bet are you making? Ten lives against the metal? If you won't take it back, I will. Go ahead. It's more than a metal, chum. It's a job. Closes in again, it's all yours. Check me on altitude, speed, and course. Morgan, you getting me? We're supposed to go back. Easy, Captain. Easy. Murphy, come in for a visual run. I got it, Skipper. All right, Morgan, you can relax. Next month's liquor rations to the guy that spots the first fighter. Bomb it to the crew. Turning on bomb run. Skipper, she's all yours. Firewall. Be 
She'll bust if you give her any more. Better bust. We're dead anyhow if we don't get to those clouds. Sure hate to get it now. I hate to get it any time.
is he? Uh, he'll be all right. He'll be out of action. Trask, come on forward and take over as flight engineer. Scanners, give me a damage report. We've taken a couple of bad ones back here. And we lost Jockey. Jockey's bought it. Down. I let you all down. First mission shakes. It's happened before to a lot of good men. Don't let it worry you. Thanks. Gonna be a rough ride home, chum. You got a distinguished flying cross. Let's see you do some distinguished flying. How you feeling, Ed? Like a million, pal. May I come in? Have a seat. If you insist. Give it to you, Jack. Not in this storm. Maddox! Maddox, see if you can get us a radio fix. It's bad, Skipper. Can't even get their static. Try again. Try to make it home? You got someplace else you'd like to go? Trask! Trask! Yes, Skipper? How much gas is this bucket inhaling? Trask, come on, how about it? Skipper, uh, not... Yeah, yeah, what is it? It's okay, Skipper. It's okay. Stay awake. Static, sir, nothing else. Well, that's something. If they were in trouble, we'd have Mayday by now. If they're still flying, that is.
Maddox, what are you getting? Radio's weathered out, sir. Can't get a thing. Then go to the key. Send Mayday. Keep sending. Maybe they'll be able to get a fix on it. Bouncing around, we're liable to wind up in Siberia. Are you crazy? If we're still over the ocean, we could go right in without ever hitting the bottom of this storm. Nothing like finding out. W wait a minute. Wait a minute. D don't let down yet. Let me take a look first. Take it easy, Morgan. Everything's going to be all right. No, I, I mean it. Maybe I can pick up something on the scope. At least I can tell what's below us, whether it's land or water. All right, go ahead. Drawing a blank so far. We must be over water. Just pick up some land, any land. Wait a minute. Looks like an island, a group of them. One of them is, is shaped like a pear. Pear-shaped island? That must be Shashi Dome. Shashi Dome. It's two hours from home. We're not far off our course. Tell him. Murph, get out your net. We're rounding third base. I always said we were a lucky crew. Yeah. I'd rather be lucky than good. Murph, give me a heading. I'm working on it, Skipper. Lucky base? Yeah. Sammy. Sammy gave it to me for luck. Did Buddy get one, too? Good luck, peace. Guess I'm just a born bachelor. There's no such thing as a born bachelor. It's just a word for someone who never grew up. Trask and check on the gas. Skipper. Yeah, Murph? I don't think we should have ever gone by that last gas station. How much time we got? Maybe an hour, maybe more. Maybe. Why didn't Trask tell me? It's not his fault, Skipper.
get back to Shishido. Murphy, how far do you make it home? All the way. Start saying your prayers, Skipper. We can crash land at Shishido. Pilot to crew. Dump everything that isn't nailed down. And that means everything. What about the chutes, Captain? I said everything. Taxpayers hear about that. Ed, what's happening? We're on emergency rations, Jack. Fire at the right scanner. Have you dumped everything back there? Yes, sir, everything. Anything? Yeah, Mayday. Still coming? Yeah, we've got air sea rescue alerted, but they can't see very much in this weather. Trouble comes in a bunch.
gotta be down. All right, it's them. Let's get going. Driver! We lost a couple of men. Well, we'll get that report later. Take care of yourself first. Oh, Lewis. I think this belongs to you. Any plans? I'll have to speak to the colonel, sir. Yeah, you do that. Oh, what are you waiting for? 